Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of learning how to learn. In the previous videos, I told you how to learn and memorize dative prepositions and accusative prepositions with the help of abbreviation. And in this video, we will be talking exclusively about vexal prepositions or it is also known as two-way prepositions. First of all, it is necessary for us to know what are basically vexal prepositions or two-way prepositions. Basically, these kind of prepositions shows us the direction or the position of an item or an object. For example, if I say, the dog is under the table, the book is on the table, I am standing behind the house, the car is parked inside the house. In the examples that I just told you, mainly the direction or the position of an object was described under, on, in, behind, and etc etc so basically these direction showing prepositions are called vexal prepositions or two-way prepositions and let's learn how we can say that under in on behind in german let's begin let's consider my hand to be an object fine and see the placement of hand what i what are the placements that i do with my hand now i'm placing my hand above my head when I place my hand above my head, see the position. It has no origin beneath it. Correct? So it's uber. This position is uber. Now when I rest my palm on my head, it becomes auf. Auf. Now when it has an origin beneath it, then it would be auf. Uber. Auf. Now, touch your palm to your nose, like this, and it would be an, an, über, auf, an. When I put this finger inside my mouth, then it would be in, in, okay, like when I will put it inside my mouth, of course. Then. I'm putting my hand under my chin and it would be unter, unter. Let's revise. Über, auf, an, in, unter. Now, my hand is in front of my face. In front of my face? For, for. And when I put my hand behind my head, it would be hinter, hinter, for, hinter. Now my hand is beside my face and it would be neben, neben, fine, for, hinter, neben. And the last one? When my face will be between my hands, it would become swishin. Swishin. Okay, let's revise it. Über, auf, an, in, unter, vor, hinter, neben, swishin. Basically, there was a purpose of why I made you learn the prepositions this way. So that first, you can learn the prepositions. Second, you can learn the directions. Now, as I was telling you the prepositions, you might have seen the meanings beside that. And you would be shocked to know that, okay, auf is also on and an is also on. Where we have to use auf and where we have to use an, how would we know? Let me clear you the difference between few of the vexal prepositions that we have. The first one is the same that we discussed, auf and an. The difference of auf and an is just of the position. When an object will be placed like this, which you say horizontally, then it will be auf. For example, if I say the book is lying on the table, it is lying on the table like this, correct? And it is not lying on the table like this. So it would be 
auf. And if I say the picture is hanging on the wall, then the origin will be vertical. Correct? I will be hanging the picture on the wall like this and not like this. Correct? So by the position of the object, you can judge if it is auf or this an. The second difference is of auf and über. Just a small difference. If your object has some origin beneath it, then it will be auf. And if your object has no origin beneath it, it is in the air, then it will be über. The next difference is of an and for. Again, the difference is of origin. If your object is in contact with your origin, then it would be an. And if it would be far away from your origin, it would be for, front. Also, I have explained the concept of prepositions in my earlier videos. So please don't forget to watch that if you haven't yet. And if you've come so far watching this video, so please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button. See you next time. Bye.